Reproduction is for recreation only. That's going to be the future means for sexual intercourse. We won't be mating, just having sex, just for fun. Let's find out why. Gene editing technology. That's what's going to take us to that next step. Gene editing. You'll be hearing this word a lot as we progress through the time. Check out my CRISPR video to know more about gene editing. By now, gene editing dominating our agriculture. We all heard about GMO, genetically modified organisms. We are already modifying the DNA of the plants and animals big time as we want so long now. For an example, plants that can withstand heat, cows that produce more milk, the list goes on. You will be surprised how much GMO food we consume. It's a lot. We had to use GMO because the world we know is changing. The population is growing. We had to feed a lot of people. Let's say GMO is not good for us, but we can do. The only way is we have to change our composition. We have to change our chemical makeup. That's the only way to survive. Compared to agriculture, gene editing is barely touching human biology. But soon, it's going to take over entirely. We all heard about test tube babies in some point in our lives. That's what we are getting at. For real this time. When you say test tube baby, it doesn't mean the baby is born out of a test tube. It's just the egg fertilized by the sperm artificially in a lab, mostly on a petri dish. Then the baby was implanted inside the mother. But the name stuck. It's catchy. Test tube baby. Just like flying sauce. Anyway, this process called in vitro fertilization, IVF. Since 1978, there are more than 8 million babies conceived through IVF. The real test tube babies I'm talking about conceived and grown in a test tube. Like in science fiction. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. The inevitable future. IVF is helping high risk and older mothers to conceive babies and to screen out disease embryos and to select genders. With today's technology, even gay, lesbian couples can have biologically related babies. The next step is gene editing. Welcome to the genetic age. The natural selection will be a thing of the past. Self-directed evolution will be the new directive. We are taking control of our evolutionary process. When it's come to the reproduction, women got the worst part of the deal. Nature might be a man. Having a baby naturally, it's highly dangerous and risky for the mother and the baby. The World Health Organization estimates more than 300,000 women die pregnancy-related causes in 2015. With the growing technology, the rate is less compared to 90s. But if we can make it lesser, faster, that's what we have to go for. The next best thing is we can eradicate all the dangerous diseases, improve health and increase the lifespan through gene editing. Having kids traditional way will be frowned upon considered unethical and immoral, just how we treat child marriage now. We are developing foolproof ways to conceive our babies disease-free and healthy. So by then it will be considered unethical to procreate the traditional way. What do you think about that? This is genetic revolution. We already know how to sequence the genes. We know how to read it. We know how to edit it. Even we know how to hack the code of life. If we are planning to thrive in Earth and beyond with a changing climate, we have to be prepared for some serious editing, gene editing. If you have any plans to have a baby in the future, you better preserve your eggs or the sperm while you're in your prime. If you want to dig really deep on this topic, read Hacking Darwin by Jeremy Metzel. It's a really great book. Even this video was inspired by that book. As usual, till people understand the technology and the benefits, there will be a lot of disputes and moratoriums. Just like IVF, when it was introduced, there are a lot of disputes. But now, it's a very normal thing. Generating humans will be the new normal. But I always wonder, how religion is going to handle this? Because most of the religions are interconnected with sexuality and procreation. Fear and shame, it's a big part of it. I'm sure there will be a huge uproar because women's liberation is very bad for religion. If God created us perfectly, that's nothing to fix. But we are biological mess. So we had to fix ourselves. Some might say it's not natural. But look around. What's natural? We destroyed the natural to build our natural. Using gene editing technology is not unethical. Not using is unethical. With gene editing technology, the possibilities are limitless. Our physiology is going to change big time. But is it going to be for good or bad? That's the million dollar question. When we look back, all the major scientific discoveries have two sides. It's all about how we manage it. 
among us, there are Hitlers and Gandhis. I think before moving forward with gene editing technology, we should find the gene that's responsible for ignorance and stupidity and eradicate that first. Don't let it take you by surprise, be prepared.